Hi everybody, what is digital avatar? Imagine a situation where you know in place of you, your avatar is going to present, you know, in an interview. Or your avatar is going to present your paper in the seminar and in conference. Or a situation where all avatars are taking your interview. Or, or imagine, a situation, imagine a situation where avatars are used in marketing and advertisement. Believe me, this is going to be, you know, going to be reality. This is what is called as a digital avatar. Digital avatar. Let's understand what is digital avatar. As you can see one interesting picture in the area of marketing, you know, uh, an advertisement in the area of sales. The digital avatar has a potential future. Is What is digital avatar? It's AI powered, AI empowered, human like virtual assistant that enables intelligent interaction with the customers. So virtual assistant, AI enabled virtual assistant that enables intelligent interactions, interactions with the customer. So the major object, objective is to give immersive experience to the uh, customers to, to provide wonderful experience to the customers, to provide contentment and satisfaction to the customers. Uh, I mean, that too, you know, uh, seamless uh, transactions as well. 3D avatars can be used for different purposes and can create a sense of trust by making communication and that too efficient and seamless communication with the customers. The use of digital human, digital human, Avatara is digital human that smoothly communicates the values of company in a specific way, can you know advertise, can market about the company, company policies, values and convert the visitors, those who are visiting to the company as the faithful you know customers. So it's how to convince that digital human that Avatara can convince the visitors in a better way is a ML based or AI based model. So most people who converse with virtual Avatara smile at some point as well. You know, sometime when you interact with the physical person, the digital human being, I mean, and, and, and when you uh, interact with the digital human being or Avatara, it's likely that you will definitely, you know, communicate with the Avataras with the smile. So that is important thing. So how does it work? Let's understand. One is speech to text, STT. You know, when you speak something, it has to be converted into text so that there can be communication. So 3D avatars must understand what the customer says. Whatever the customer is talking, whatever customer wants, the speech gets converted into text through speech to text or we also call it as automatic speech recognition called as ASR. So ASR plays important role. Whatever customer is saying has to be converted into text and accordingly the avatar can respond. NLP, what is called as natural language processing, natural language understanding. It understands language. It understands the processes. Virtual Avatara tries to understand the conversation based on the environment, you know, based on NLP. Recommender system. A thorough analysis of customer and product takes place through recommender system. This leads the customer to make an informed decision and also it tells what step the user has to take in order to make the purchase. So it, it thoroughly you know, makes the customer understand, makes the customer convince and also guides all the steps required to move to the next process so that customer finally buys the product, purchases it. So you see here, STT I was talking about is speech to text and second what is is a recommended system where whatever customer is saying, you know, some similar objects are there, similar, uh, you know, products are there which are optimally recommended based on his requirement and finally what is recommended you know, is purchased by the user, that is going to happen using avataras and that too in a more interactive manner, you know, in more pleasant manner that's going to happen. So TTS, once the avataras recommender system functions properly, it's finally ready to give an output. So it's text is converted to a speech, you know, text uh, to a speech, TTS is text to a speech, text to a speech so that Digital avatar can converse with the customer. It can have different types of responses based on the emotions. What is the emotion? Accordingly, different types of responses it can generate. And articulation, the processes regarding all the animations performed on 3D avatar. We always love articulation rather than ordinary communication. So that will be based on animations performed on 3D avatar that includes all the gestures and motions of avatar. 
be it using mouth, hands, facial expressions, the entire process is based on learning from different interactions. How does it work? Let's understand digital avatara. So designed as on 3D modeling software, it can be custom built for each brand. If you want to create avatara of a person, you have to detect and capture the person and create the virtual model. You have to do it again and again and again iteratively until or unless the optimal one fits an optimal one you can generate. For example, a virtual avatar can be created to be like a brand ambassador of the company or a company or it can be created according to the brand's specifications. The brand will have certain specifications based on, you know, uh, uh, you know about the brand ambassador and keeping those specifications in mind it can be created. Accurate facial recognition, as I mentioned, using biometric technology, AI-based face detection, and then creating that model will be there. And then repeated, repeatedly it will happen. And whatever is the best model that, you know, fits or that seems the actual replica of a person will be the digital avatar. So, there are, are there any use cases? Let's understand. Yes. Virtual store. Stores will be virtual. So, in virtual store, there are two things. One, website. Virtual space set up on web page where a customer gets fill or a full browsing experience. Digital humans will take on the role of sales people. I mean, there, were, they, there won't be sales boys, sales girls. Rather, you know, digital humans, avatars will be there and they will introduce the customer to all the relevant products. And all those, you know, information uh, of the, the products will be available in the uh, website where when we... Uh, you know, go to the website, there will be Autaras. Autaras will be guiding about the different products. Mobile apps can also be created, mobile app version or a web version. These 3D Autaras can also be seen in apps. The users can download where it can converse with the customer, answer all the queries related to the product. Then banking application. Again, website and kiosk we can have. Bank's website Again, taking a role of virtual assistant to help the customers. So, Avatara in the bank, you know, in the website can respond to the queries, respond to the requirement of the customers related to financial transactions. Similarly, in kiosk, with interactive kiosk being set up with cameras in the bank, 3D Avatar can identify the person and then take you through the processes of using the kiosk. Then comes large retail stores. We can have digital Avataras, digital you know, signage in shopping malls, digital signage screens can be used for advertising the bonds brand so that digital avatars can create that impact more imp impressively and presently that, you know, makes the customers, uh, you know, attracted about the products. Kiosk set up with the cameras for face recognition can detect the type of apparel and customer is wearing. Based on these, the brand avatara gives relevant recommendations. So avatara will rather wear a, you know, a customer address and will give a feel that how does it look like if that particular person wears that kind of, you know, dress, dress material. So that feeling will give him, you do not need to, you know, test the dress, you do not need to wear it for, you know, you do not need to have the trial, just avatara will do it because it will be similar to your avatara and avatara can do it and then, you know, you can simply have that brilliant experience and you can buy the product. Restaurant, restaurants, you know, self-service kiosk, kiosk set up inside restaurants where a digital human can guide the customer through ordering processes. This virtual being can give you recommendations of food options to choose according to your requirements. So there also, avatars will guide you in self-service uh, in the restaurants. Lastly, you know, digital avatars, let's conclude, are created with a discovery mindset going to be pivotal for, you know, pivotal for brands in the long run. Due to avatars having impactful interactions, they can humanize the digital conversation like no other. Virtual avatars have a form factor, which means it is something you look at and talk to on like chatbots. Therefore, it creates an identity of itself. But chatbot, you can just, you know, give a query, you'll get a response in the form of text. But it's unlike chatbot, you can look at and talk to the avatars which is a digital form of human being for any brand customer experience is a priority any brand in any you know industry customer experience is a priority because of the avatars conversational intelligence ml and ai empowered so it will have a brilliant experience that how you know on a customized way it has to communicate it can give hyper personalized recommendations to the customer so 
you know, you can see that uh, you imagine a situation where the people who are taking interviews, you know, interview expert, interview panel will be the avatars. Imagine the day, imagine the, you know, the time where rather than you, your avatar is going there in a seminar and presenting, you know, uh, and representing you are presenting your content and that too in a better, you know, an efficient way in a, you know, uh, using articulation skill so that the, the, the audience, the recipient gets more impressed. So hope you, you know, you, you, you think that or you, I mean, you, you understand that this is so exciting, you know, there's, there's simply one, this is simply wonderful topic exciting topic and that's going to create you know uh, a great impact in advancing the technologies and applications be it in the marketing be it in the you know the metaverse application or open ai applications this is going to create you know huge uh, revolutions in the especially you know in uh, uh, for customers to have interactive great and wonderful experience thank you so much if you like this video Please comment, please like, and please spread with your, uh, you know, colleagues, peers, and contacts. And please do not forget to subscribe the channel. Thank you.